morning. Ah, yes, I slept in a vehicle last night. I'm gonna tell you why. I slept in there because I've got I've got work to do. For those of you that are unaware, it seems like that's quite a few people. I actually film, produce, edit the Freedom Breeder YouTube channel. And I don't know if you watched the last one, but not that it was bad, but it, it wasn't necessarily good, and I can't, I can't have that. So I, I had to come out here to Turlock to, to make this channel happen in the way that I have always envisioned it happening. And of course, Jesse has as much input as he wants to have, but I, I'm in charge a lot of the content and making sure that it comes out at well and not necessarily not recorded on a cell phone. <laughs> Contrary to what some people might believe, I'm actually trying to be as responsible as possible and keep as many people safe as possible while doing this whole process. And that's why I slept in my car, not a hotel. And that's why I'm rolling down the road here, not driving my car. I don't know what not driving the car has to do with it. I think I'm just doing that because it's fun. But, my point. My point is that by, by not sleeping at a hotel, by coming here to Jesse's house and then running with him to boost our immune systems. Exercise helps boost your immune system, at least I believe it does. I'm limiting my contact with the outside world as much as possible, but still getting work done so that I can support my family. Look at this guy. <laughs> Come on. He went running without me. We're just going running together. Yeah. What? You know, uh, quick stay, eight miles. Six feet away, six feet away. Stay back there. <laughs> oh, shoot. To, wh wh why are you, you running without me? You ready to get it? You work out? Because you're sleeping. Sleeping? You no said, response. You said be here at 7.15. What are you talking about? 7.15. Look, look, I look. I messaged you uh, look, before 7. Look, let me show you something. Okay, it says, it says you wake, you wake. That was at 7. And then I say... No I'll way, I'll be there not in 10 one minute minutes. later, no way. One minute later, one minute later, right there, it says one minute oh, later. Man. Oh man. I gotta show you. Well, since this guy couldn't wait for me, he's gonna have to run more now. A lot of you guys might not know this about Jesse, but he takes his <laughs> exercise pretty serious too. I'm telling you, you think you're in good shape? I wanna see you keep up on a workout with Jesse. I'm headed back to the shop right now. We're about to film a giveaway video for the Freedom Breeder channel. And we're gonna give away a snake. And there's always this stigma about doing a giveaway with a snake, because you don't want somebody to get their snake for the first time and to be a free snake and them not to, know, to not know what they're doing. So I'm gonna to talk to Jesse about doing an alternate option for the giveaway if so that we don't give away the snake to a home that's going to be inexperienced uh, but before we go do that i'd like to give a shout out to my buddy uh, mr marshall platts here if you guys are not checking him out on youtube you should go check him out marshall's a good guy he got snake keeping legalized in his hometown in north dakota so those of you guys that are keepers in dakota you guys should hit up marshall because he's uh he's done a lot of work out there for snakes he's a good guy he's my he's my good friend i love him and uh yeah let's go check out his channel And here's another big reason I need to come out here because a lot of my camera stuff, a lot of my camera stuff that I shipped off to Tinley in this rack so that I could use it at Tinley, but I haven't been able to use it at home. I've got a lot of my equipment that I use for video making here inside of this rack that I've been without. And oh, Kim, this is your sweater that's forever traveling around the world. <laughs> we got somebody crucial in here. This is, a, this is what you call an essential employee. I'm essential. 
You're quiet. You're too quiet. You gotta speak up. We can't hear you over here. Over here? Over here. Jimmy's essential. He no nope. <laughs> snakes aren't gonna take care of themselves, right? It's true. You just keep your distance over there, buddy. Hey, hey. hey. Well I got T Rex arms, so <laughs> What you gotta show us? Jimmy's gonna Jimmy's gonna show us some of the cool snakes that have hashed out here. Maybe one of them will be part of the giveaway. Who knows? Let's take a look. Oh, Jesse ain't giving this away. <laughs> so what's going on here, Jimmy? It's orange ghost to GHI Mimosa. This thing looks insane. It's just the oranges on this. It's pretty phenomenal. It's true. So what what is this snake exactly? GHI orange ghost. That's just a GHI hypo? Yeah. No way. I know. That thing's smoking, dude. Yeah. You're saying this is just a straight hypo? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what mm, mm means, Jimmy. Yeah, I don't know what mm, -mm is either. <laughs> you say you have a joke for me? It's kind of a mean joke. Kind of a mean joke? Yeah. Leave a comment down below. Should Jimmy do the mean joke or should he be ultra sensitive and not do the mean joke? Is it like super insensitive? I don't think it is. Oh, good. Let's hear it then. Why aren't orphans good at baseball? Why aren't orphans good at baseball? <laughs> because they've never known how to get home or something like that? They don't know where home is. That is kind of mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, orphans out there. These are the maternal incubator ones. They're showing incubators. They got the cards upstairs. So what now? I don't know. The cards are upstairs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll just call it pretty. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's saying, excited. He's saying keep your distance. Alright, I'm leaving now. Bye. Yeah, try not to break anything on your way out. Ouch. What's the difference between hungry and horny? What's the difference between hungry and horny? Where you play, depends on where you place the cucumber. <laughs> okay, it shows I got the, the message, so it's rocking okay. and rolling. Okay, and then I'll, tomorrow I'll do the balance of it. Okay, cool. So we'll have uh, we'll have that taken care of tomorrow. This guy, and, uh, he's sitting yeah, here waiting forever for him to do the video, okay. and then All right. Thank you. Thank he gets here. He hasn't been uh, here in like two and a half yeah, weeks or something, so he has it. lots of work and <laughs> orders to catch up on, and, and people are still placing orders, which is, God, love it. Which is very good for the business, of course, and, and very fortunate there's still orders rolling in and all that stuff because otherwise um, we'd be pretty screwed. We'd have to be going file in front of employment and all that type of stuff, so luckily that's happening. But it is almost noon. We got off to a great start exercising and getting ready to make all this stuff happen, but now we're just kind of, I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for him to catch up on two and a half weeks of work that he's probably been missing. Mm, let me show you something cool, though. Jesse's actually been taking the quarantine thing pretty serious, which is why I was comfortable with coming and and doing some video here today because he's been practicing his physical social distancing just as well as anybody else. Isn't that right, Jess? Yeah, I don't even get near me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he has. That's why I'm, I'm glad to be able to come in because he hasn't seen anybody else. He's been at home with his family for the last two and a half weeks, not seeing anybody, not going out anywhere, so we're safe. So this is one of the things that we're going to be featuring. Oh, this light is not right for this. So this is one of the things we're going to be featuring on the Freedom Breeder channel right here, and this is the oven. It's the rodent oven. It's gonna be used for uh, heating up rodents, frozen thawed rodents, get them up to temp. We've got a little heating unit on the back of it right here. And then we've got a thermostat right here, right here right now to control it. But what, this is just the first design, first prototype. So once this is all said and done, there won't be a, a thermostat required up here. There'll be a built-in thermostat to the heating unit. Won't be all this mess of cords. It'll just be a single cord coming out the back and you got trays of rodents. You, you, Pull these trays right in here. You got rodents thawing out, and we're gonna do a video showing how well the res the snakes respond to the rats being heated like this. You'll see on the Freedom Breeder channel. Go check it out. But maybe I can give you guys a sneak peek of what the giveaway snakes are gonna be. Jesse's still doing his thing. 
I got tired of doing time lapses of his backside at the uh, desk though, so I, I needed to get some food. And luckily one of these Turlock taco trucks is open, which they should be because it's, you know, it's basically takeout food all the time. And I also picked up some of this just in case Jesse's still not done when I get back, so. Well, I'm happy we knocked out a bunch of video I'm gonna get out of here go home and be safe as possible of course I'm gonna put on my clothes in the washer I'm not gonna go out again for a while Jesse's going home too he's done for a while we're trying to be safe as possible while keeping things going for you guys so um, yeah Jimmy you need to work on your social distancing skills a little bit there buddy six feet all right six feet oh all the all the snakes I think some of the snakes that I showed you guys this morning are actually going to be part of the video. The giveaway is going to actually entail getting to choose from a f few different snakes. So uh, there's a link down in the description for that that giveaway video. It's already gone out. So if you guys haven't checked that out already, get your chance to add some, some snakes there. And uh, I hope you guys are doing all right out there. Talk to you soon. Aloha.